Well, this isn't good. I think I'm gonna need some uh, different shoes to work out here today. There we go. That seems a little bit better. At least I won't get so much water in my socks and shoes this way. This has me wondering though, what does this soil look like under here compared to some of the fresh wood chips that I've laid? And then over here, uh, some of the older wood chips, how have they done comparatively? Let's find out. As a control, I'm going to dig a spot right here, just in the center of my yard, just kind of pull it up a bit so I can see underneath the soil. Give a little comparison so that in the center of the yard, what does this look like? This is going to be compacted down just a good bit like the rest of the yard's going to be. And that's due to my driving of the golf cart all over the grass as I've been running the trailer back and forth over this area. Let's take a look right there and see what it looks like. So as I dig down and look here, what I'm seeing mostly is just this nice uh, sandy clay soil. And that's pretty much what I expected to see. Pull this out a bit for you. A bunch of sand down there at the bottom from where the contractors put in the, the, the house and then this layer of topsoil clay where the grass is actually growing. Underneath that, it's pretty much just all sand. Just complete sand. This is just nothing but sand. No clay, not much anything, no organics, nothing in there, just sand. Now the second area, this I expect to be a lot of clay. A lot of heavy clay, very little organics. And this is just, let me see if you can hear that. I'm not sure if you can hear that squishiness, but it's just straight squishy clay. And that is really hard. Even as I'm standing on this thing, it just does not want to go in. Leaning back on this thing. See if we can get soil pulled up here for you. And pretty much as expected, this is nothing but gooey, hard. Let me see if I can grab some of this out of here. Oh, gooey. Nope, that's sand. Okay, well, sandy clay. It does. Yep, that is nice sandy clay. I almost thought that was straight sand, but nope, sandy clay. And as you can see from the side, it's that thick sandy clay all the way up to about the last, I think that might be an inch of the top. That is all the topsoil that is here, and it's not even all that great. Grab a chunk off the side here, and yeah, it's still that really firm sandy clay. So yeah, there's not a whole lot that's gonna be able to grow in this. Not good stuff. Which is why hopefully getting all this organic matter and these wood chips, bringing them on over through this area. The goal or the hope is to increase this drainage and increase the organic material and the, the ground's ability to support life. Now this next area over here is one that I am genuinely curious about because these wood chips have been over here for, I'd say four to six months, uh, definitely not a year, but long enough that they could have had some sort of an impact. Uh, it's definitely, gotten covered for longer than being uncovered, but not quite as long as on the other side of the yard, which is where we're gonna check next. Now over here, you can still see that there's a little bit of the paper left that we use to cover up and help kill the grass. And unfortunately, I'm gonna be punching through that, but I really don't think that grass is really ever gonna come back from that kind of damage. But from the, all the rain we had, it is still a bit wet. That is a lot softer though than the other area. Definitely a lot softer. Let's give it a wiggle and see what we got down here. Again, you can see that sandy clay, but it is a lot lower way down here. Oh, it's still really nice and hard though. Ah. But yeah, sandy clay, still that same stuff. This actually has a little more clay than sand. The other, in the middle of the yard there had a lot more sand than clay. That is very well hard packing clay. 
and I've kind of messed it up out here on this side, but you can still see over here going down, there's a good layer more. There's more like four to six inches than of the more gray topsoil, but that's still more topsoil clay. So hopefully the worms will get in here, keep recycling all this and helping that good nutrition filter down and get more organics over here to the clay a bit further down. Now let's check over on the other side where we've had wood chips down for about a year now. Now this area over here has a bit of weeds poking through the wood chips even. It got a little bit of a top up not too long ago with some wood chips just to help cover it up because it, wow, it's a lot of sticks. Uh, it got a little thin. Didn't want all those weeds popping through, just buried them with more wood chips. And yeah, of course, the weeds pop right back up through there. And it's only got maybe two inches over here left. Uh, so these are all really well broken down. Again, this had the landscaping paper, that extreme paper that I've showed in previous videos put on it. And let's take a look here and just see the difference overall of the soil after a year of those wood chips. So the very first thing that I notice is of course, all of the extra life. Uh, we got lots of roots growing in here from the various weeds that are just kind of popping up. I don't know what these things are, but I need to find out. These things are horrible over here. But just even the top layer of soil, nice and black. Lots of little hairy roots growing through here. And I did see some of the mycelial fungus. Uh, it's a little bit fewer and far between than other spots I've seen. Uh, here's a nice little chip here. It's got some of that nice mycelial white fungus right there. So we got good fungal growth down here. So let's dig in here and see what we have. And just a quick moisture test. Ooh, that is nice and spongy. Um, I'm not sure if you can see how my fingers are just kind of squishing right down in it. Very soft soil, but it's, it's not releasing a lot of water like what the other side was doing over there. But yeah, nice and squishy. Ooh, good sounds. And of course I'm digging into it now that I've compressed that little bit of topsoil there, but without even putting a foot on it, let's see just how well this goes. Almost to the hilt. And it takes no effort whatsoever to get the shovel sunk in there. Nice and soft. Roots can easily penetrate and go through all that. And the first thing that I notice is, yep, we still have the same sandy clay right there, but it's not as noticeable in most places. You get little globs of it here and there just haven't quite been broken down all that well. But yeah, definitely the same sandy clay. But the other thing I noticed is just how deep this good layer of nutritious soil is. Even down here on the sides, nice and squishy all the way down water can percolate through that real quick and easy, which means that you don't have all the drainage issues from that hard compacted soil with the grass. And it's a lot easier to reach in here and just grab a big old glob of, hey, what is that? Some of the netting from the sod when it was put in. Uh, but yeah, much softer. Not a whole lot of water even getting squished out between my fingers or anything, just nice loose clay sand soil. Ooh, that's gonna be fun to try and clean off my gloves now. Okay, let's get this covered up best we can and take a look at one more spot. Now this is one area that I really like. This was covered two years in a row with the neighborhood leaf litter. Uh, just pine needles, pine chips, pine cones, sticks. Uh, you can still see some leaves maybe from an oak tree, but all this leaf litter, lots of pine mulch, just whatever fell off the tree. And just how easily, I'm just gonna throw this shovel in here like a dart. Don't even need to push all that hard. Super, super soft soil. Oop, until you hit a root. Yep, that's a root. But let's take a look right here and see what this soil looks like. So again, the first thing that I noticed is there's a layer covering the dirt. That is always the most important thing. Nope, got a stick falling here. 
So again, just like the last site, a good six inches or so of some nice fertile looking topsoil. Reach down in here. Again, it just pulls out so soft and easy. It's still that, that sandy clay forms these nice little mud poops. Yeah, these are mud poops. But you squeeze it real hard even after all that rain and it's not uh, you know, squishing out water or anything, just turn into muck. Uh, again, <laughs> nice little green stuff from where the previous owners had installed some sod back here. That is long gone. And now we're left with this garbage in our soil. Over the whole backyard, nothing but this garbage now in our soil. Not too happy about that. But good soil still. Cover that back up because covered soil is happy soil. And this will be getting then a layer of wood chips. And if you've seen the video of me cutting down the black willow tree, I just left some of the stumps over here, a little bit of above ground hugo culture, if that's a thing. Uh, right there where it runs along this line here, coming all the way down, and then it continues underneath all those wood chips going back almost to the corner and about five feet from the fence makes a right hand turn and goes all the way down. There's logs buried all in here and I had tilled all that area and made it a little bit of a drainage ditch so that as the water runoff comes from our property from the house down here and from the neighbor's house over here comes down it then hits this little ditch that I dug out a little trench a little low spot you may be able to still see it a bit. I'm not sure how well the 3D will really do, but you can almost kind of see there how it dips down right through here. And it's just a, a little bit of a low spot where the water can slowly filter in. It comes around to here and on the other side of the fence. If we can kind of peek through the crack, you can almost kind of see there's a drain vent down there and that takes it down to the pond that is, actually there's another drain back over there. There's another drain there. And then you probably, whoa, don't trip and fall. Uh, right in between the houses here, that's where the, the retention pond is, where all this water drains to. And I hope you found this as interesting and somewhat entertaining as, as I did. Not so much educational, but you know, you learn what you can from who you can. And just know that a little bit of wood chips goes a long way. Keep your soil covered, keep it happy and healthy. Make sure you like if you do like this video, subscribe to the channel if you wanna see some more of this and the duck eggs. Ooh, how about we do a quick duck egg update? We've been watching the mama and kind of monitoring her a bit and the nest. Had to pull the camera in so we weren't able to have our nest cam going. Kind of funny, it's a nest cam and it's watching a nest. So uh, we are up to, it's kind of hard to see, check my community uh, post page on the channel page and you'll see they got a couple of pictures on there with the 13 eggs. I was very careful to not touch the grass with my hands, used a stick so that I don't get my scent or whatever on the nest. But we now have 13 eggs on our, or in our little uh, duck nest. And I'm pretty sure she's either a mallard duck or a wood duck. Not quite certain, but we'll figure it out. Get a better look of her when she's on her nest or uh, compare some pictures online. So make sure you subscribe. Uh, that way you can see our future updates on both the backyard as it's progressing along. We should be getting another wood drop or wood chip drop here in a couple of days. And of course we got those duck eggs coming and hopefully we'll get some good ducky pictures. And if by chance, and that's a rare chance now, that the mama does abandon any eggs, we're gonna try and hatch them and temporarily raise a little duck as a pet or maybe three, who knows? Uh, we don't know how many eggs she might leave behind or if all 13 might hatch, but we're gonna keep everybody updated on what happens with these duck eggs. And my next project is I got a bunch of that Zeon Zoysia sod that I pulled up the big old chunks and plugs. This stuff is about to come to life, so I need to get this in the ground before it does that. So I'm going to start on my next project right over here, and you guys have a good day.